The University of New Mexico men's basketball season continues tonight with a visit to New Mexico State and the Aggies. And joining us now is third-year head coach Steve Alford. And Steve, I guess, uh, are you becoming a Southwesterner now instead of a Midwesterner here after three years? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's It's been a dream come true, to be honest with you. We've had a lot of fun. The family loves it. Um, obviously, the team, we're having a lot of fun with this team. And um, it just seems like it's been home for a lot longer than just three years because the transition was so smooth. And I appreciate that from the, the works of the administration, the works of my staff, my players, and, and obviously the fans have made it a great transition. The team is coming off a co-Mountain West Conference championship from a year ago. This year you picked fifth. Is that reasonable? Can you do better than that? Well, we were picked around that last year, too. So we know we got a lot of work to do. It's a very young team. Uh, we've got a lot of youthfulness on this team, a lot of inexperience, so we're going through things for the first time. This will be the first road trip we've been on uh, together. So those things are always interesting. And we just, you know, our, our push and our hope is things continue to get emphasis, emphasized in our program and players get better and the team gets better month to month. Well, you mentioned uh, how young you are. You lost three really good seniors last year in Dandridge, Ferris, and Toppert. Can you replace those guys? Well, it's hard yeah. because those are three terrific players. They're even better three different people. Uh, so anytime you lose that quality of character and people and player talent, that's hard to do in one year. But those three, is, as, long as, as well as some of the seniors we had from the previous year, they've laid a very good foundation of what we want done in Lobo basketball, not just on the floor, but in the classroom and off the floor. So now it's the job of these young guys to carry that torch forward. Do you have a center this year? I mean, a true center? What are you going to do about that position? No, we'll, we'll play without a center this year. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not so sure Daniel was a center. Uh, Daniel was really a power forward that played the center position and had a heck of a career, but he's not your prototype center. You're not talking about somebody 6'11 that grew up plant his back to his basket. He kind of played face up in high school some and played face up a little bit here in our program. So we, we don't we're not going to have a center. We just don't have the experience in that position like we did last year with Daniel. Well, the pit is undergoing a year-long renovation. It won't be the same for maybe another year or so. Has that been a distraction? What kind of problems have, has that created? It's been uh, unbelievable. Uh, there's been no distraction at all. It's been we know what the finished product's going to bring, and that's the best college basketball venue in the country. So uh, you learn to uh, cope with some growing pains along the way. But to be honest with you, there, haven't, there just haven't been that very many growing pains. Uh, we've gone on schedule as you usual and the guys that we play, were in Rudy most of the time anyway uh, the game the exhibition game that we had against Highlands was a terrific deal that was set up so um, we're very excited not just about this year but what this thing's gonna look like next year all right well good luck against the Aggies tonight go get them and have a great season coach. I appreciate it thank you very much Steve Alford head men's basketball coach at the University of New Mexico